What's going on YouTube? I know it's been a little over a year since we did a video here on the channel, but I finally grabbed some free time and thought I would make a short video to do an unboxing and miniature review of my latest semi-automatic pistol. I finally got a chance to pick up the uh, Walther PPKS. This one is chambered in 22 long rifle, so for those of you who are fans of James Bond, or looking to add a firearm to your collection for that James Bond aesthetic, hopefully this provides you with some information and a closer look at what you're going to be purchasing. So, pick this guy up at my local Sportsman's for a little under MSRP. These guys sell, at least on the website, they're listed at $349, and I was able to pick this one up at $300. Um, due to the volatility of the gun market over the last two years, I have seen these guys on the shelves for $500 and sometimes even more. I probably wouldn't spend that much on the uh, firearm and I'm not sure if the ones that are chambered in 380 ACP are more expensive. I'm sure that information is all on Walther's website. Um, but nevertheless, let's get into it and open this guy up. So the PPKS comes in this plastic hard, hard uh, clamshell case. So go ahead and slide this guy and open it up. And once we remove the plastic, you've got your firearm and it's got a barrel plug made out of plastic here that says Walther on it. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. And we'll go ahead and clear the magazine. Um, standard, I think, 10 round aluminum magazine. This bottom here is made out of plastic. Nothing too fancy. This doesn't scream super high quality to me. And then we'll go ahead and pull the slide back, make sure that there's nothing in the chamber. So we are safe. And take a look at what else this guy comes with. So a couple of miniature tools. And I think what is also nice is Walther provides you with a couple of additional front sights. These are made out of plastic as are the rear sights on the firearm. Got firearm safety manual. You got your gun lock, which is blue. It says Walther on the front. Registration card. A uh, little one-hander on taking down the pistol for cleaning and for reassembly. And then your standard manual. So we take a closer look here at the firearm. Feels good in the hand. Um, I don't have the largest hands out there, so for those of you who are left-handed and have small hands, this is kind of a snapshot of what this thing is gonna look like. Tail of the tape here is a 3.3 inch barrel length. The trigger pull is graded at 6.1 pounds. We'll talk a little bit about that later in the video about whether or not this would be an ideal concealed carry. Trigger travel is 0.04 inches for single action and 0.2 inches for double action. Overall length of the gun is 6.1 inches. Height is 4.9 and the width is just under one inch at 0.98. And then without ammo, the gun weighs 19 ounces. So you've got your safety lever here. This is made out of plastic. Also your decocker. The grips are made out of plastic. They feel comfortable enough out of the box. And they have Walther engraved here at the top. Um, those can be switched out, obviously, for something of your preference. If you want uh, plastic, um, you can stick with the out-of-the-box grips. You can obviously replace these with something wooden or rubber. So you have to actually disengage the magazine if you actually pull back. And then we'll go ahead and do a takedown here of the firearm. So these are a little bit different in that you've got a trigger guard that you pull down. And keep in mind that this is a spring-loaded rimfire pistol. So you pull the trigger guard down and then you pull the slide back. Let's see if I can get a better angle here. And then you lift up and then pull forward. 
Just be careful that you don't do this too fast or else the spring's gonna fly all over the place. So pretty easy to disassemble for cleaning. Um, there is a little notch down here where you can reorient the tip. That way you know where the spring is supposed to be pointing when you're putting it back together. And then we'll disengage the magazine. We'll pull the trigger guard down and then we will put our slide back on. And then you're good to go. So we'll decock and put it back in to firing mode. So one of the reasons why I have opted not to use this as a concealed carry, one 22 long rifle, not something as reliable as a higher caliber, like nine millimeter. Um, 380 ACP is probably the minimum uh, for stopping power that you would want in a defense situation. Um, you just never know what the, uh, what the person who is trying to do harm to you is going to do. And I just don't rely on a 22 to be able to stop somebody in a defensive situation where I have to protect myself or somebody that I'm, you know, caring after. Um, the other thing that I don't like about this is the trigger pull. We talked about that, uh, graded at 6.1 pounds. So for me, maybe it's because I just lack, um, hand dexterity, but that just doesn't feel, uh, smooth enough for me to be able to draw and fire with reliability. And because the gun isn't very friendly for ambidextrous users or for left-handed people. Um, it just feels a little bit awkward. Now, if I'm holding it this way, pulling the hammer back is not a big deal. Um, but because I'm going to be holding it left-handed, that just doesn't feel smooth for me. Um, it almost feels like if I, you know, do this um, too quickly, the gun could slip out of my hand, which is obviously not optimal. Uh, feels a little bit better if I secure the firearm here and pull back. Um, but I think for the time being, I'm going to stick with my P365 made by Sig Sauer, um, which we have an old video on. I might do an updated video um, using this format to talk about that. Uh, we also added a Mossberg 590S uh, for home defense to the collection. So eventually, once I get my Magpul hardware in, we will probably do an installation video and talk about that firearm as well. Um, so I know it's been a long time since I've uploaded a video. Uh, for those of you that do subscribe to the channel, thanks for your time. I know you got a lot of options out there. Um, if you have any comments or questions about the Walther PPKS, feel free to leave them below. And as always, we always appreciate a like and a subscribe. Thanks for your time. We'll see you in the next one.